Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, it's going to be a PvT here on Polypoid featuring ASL 15 champion JYJ and Snow. Top side going to be our red Protoss. It is Snow. Bottom right going to be our blue Terran. It is JYJ. Yes, he is the current ASL champion. Snow has not won an ASL, but he took second to Flash back in 2008 which is an achievement all on its own. He did win the San Pao Star League Spring Cup Season 4, which is a premier tournament held in China. Maybe not held in China, but it is a Chinese tournament. But he beat Royal to get to the championship, who is another ASL champion. So I feel like his PVT is very, very good. He's been playing so much better recently than he has in the past. So JYJ is going to have his hands full here today. Brum. All right. What are we doing? What is the plan here today from both these players? Nobody's proxying. There would be an SCV out on the map or a probe out on the map already if that was the case. We're just going to play it safe. Gateway, Cybercore, right? Barracks, Factory, probably. Although a little bit safer for Terran to go. Rax into Bunker, into Expansion. It's annoying because Dragoons will be shooting you in the face for a while, but meh. You're a Terran player, you're used to that stuff. All right, probe, ooh, scouting the right direction too. Four player map, heading down the right side. Again, be sure to thank RJB for the replay today. Check him out, youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV, link in the description to his channel. If you like Brood War and can't get enough of it, that's not a bad place to be, man. Simply isn't. So what do we got here? Probe, ooh, SC, wow, did you pull that SCV off to time, what? Was that timed? Did he send a second SCV off the line to meet the probe in case the probe scouted here first? Because that's amazing if so. Ooh, Steve the SCV dutifully building the barracks. His buddy protecting him. Don't worry, Steve. Oh, and then he swaps off, takes combat duty, and lets his buddy finish building the barracks. Look at this teamwork. We're tag teaming it right now, like in wrestling. Ah, I remember when kids... When I was a kid, we thought wrestling was real, and everybody was freaking out about, like, Ultimate Warrior shenanigans and Hulk Hogan turning heel and stuff, and oh, those were the days. Those were the days. I don't really care about wrestling, but a bunch of my kids, or kids in my class totally did. Cybercore on the way. Steve the SCV merch available at falconpaladin.store. We'll ship anywhere but North Korea, which is interesting, and yeah, zealot. it. Zealot Pressure, Robert the Zealot shirt available and a mug available at falconpaladin.store as well. Right? So if you're a Protoss fan, thumbs up. Alright, so these Marines aren't going to have a great time fighting this dude. It takes 87 shots from a Marine to kill a Zealot and like two shots from a Zealot to kill a Marine. So you'll see the problem here. But good micro on display of our ASL champion, JYJ. Shouldn't have any trouble with it. Ooh, taking a hit is not good. Almost could have lost that guy. Almost could have lost this dude here, but nope. Zealot chased away too many Marines. Expanding behind Cybercore. Yeah, Cybercore is hiding up here. SCV on the scout says, you have nothing that can kill me. Ha 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 ha. Even if you're making a Dragoon, it takes like eight shots to kill an SCV if you're a Dragoon. So, on the other side of it now. Also, little tiny marine pressure heading up. Interesting from JYJ. Not just trying to get up to two bases and a million siege tanks and winning. Or I guess three bases is better. Yeah. SCV up here. Look at, and a vulture. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our Dragoon doesn't want to battle here, does he? Mm, he's got the range, even without the range, if you know what I mean. Oh! Throwing up a bunker! This isn't even like a Nexus first punish. This is just straight up trying to throw up a bunker right at the front door of your Protoss opponent. These probes try to come in. Dragoon fighting two. SCV, no! Does not finish construction on the bunker, and that's a cancel. Not enough left over to really make it worth it anyway, and Snow. Great target firing there. Loses a Dragoon, but is able to clear everything else out except for second SCV, who was here for backup, but did not get the bunker up anyway. Crazy. Man, that was a little touch and go there from Snow. Robotics facility coming in. Could be for aggression. Could be for detection. We know how this works. Boy. And also... 
What am I going to post to this in relation to the other thing I'm going to talk about? But I don't... Yeah, you know what. I think I'm going to post this after. So if you're a big fan of StarCraft, I posted a two hour plus best of nine back on Tuesday. <laughs> Featuring Larva and featuring our Protoss Pro Pro player, Rain. It is amazing. The back and forth is incredible. There are some sick plays in there. It might be the longest cast I have on my channel I've ever put up in the history of the seven or eight years I've been doing this. So check it out. You got a couple hours to spend today. I guess I'm posting this on a Saturday, so maybe you have some free time. Seriously, go check it out. I really would prefer that I not spend... I felt like two and a half hours on that thing casting it, and then something like another hour doing some editing, adding some score into it, post-processing. My video editing software is free and not super easy to use, but I managed to figure it out. Anyway, seriously, go watch it. Even if you're not a huge ZBP fan. Seriously, it is fantastic. Larva's always fun to watch anyway. Even if you're not a Zerg fan, you should like watching him because he's always entertaining. Okay, enough of a plug for my own stuff there. What is our first upgrade? Mm, siege mode. Neat. Tanks up. Siege mode coming in. Third base could be here, but better here because there's gas. And you want that gas as the Terran player who's mechan. I mean, yes, vultures are good too. But man, the more tanks you can get, the better it is for you. Little Dragoon pressure, but seriously, these guys are going to have siege mode sooner than you hope they will. Snow... Look at him looking for spider mines, being very careful on this journey down south. Understandable. A lot of Terrans do go for spider mines first. But not our guy, JYJ. Oh, Obs gets out of there with all of 11 HP. Dangerous. And siege mode's done. And Vulture Speed's coming in next. So siege mode's siege up, but the Dragoons are here. Oh no, tank down, tank down. High ground siege tanks, a bunker down, but out. High ground siege tanks enough to get out of there. If you're snow, another dragoon gets blitzed as he tries to retreat. Third base coming in on the back of all of this aggression by snow. That's how you want to be doing it. Expand while attacking, as Day Nine taught me so many, many years ago. Most recent Day Nine thing I watched was he talked about why he played Tears of the Kingdom for like a couple hours and then didn't enjoy it and didn't go back. So, <laughs> that is a bit of a controversial take from him. Everybody loves Tears of the Kingdom, but I think he, to sum up the hour-long video that he put together about this, because Day9 can be a bit winded, he bumped up on the fact that Tears of the Kingdom really disallows you to solve problems any way you want. There are so many ways to play Tears of the Kingdom that he just couldn't put it in a box of this is how I play this game, this is how I play this game, this is how I play these kind of games, right? Like tropes almost. This play style is how I play this this genre. This play style is how I play this genre. And Tears of the Kingdom just broke that entire system and he was like, Bleh. he wasn't having fun, he didn't like it, and he just tapped. I don't know if he's gone back since, but man, I like Day 9. I wish he did more StarCraft stuff. Couple vultures make it out. Harassing with your vultures is a very Terran thing to do. Very JYJ thing to do. ASL champion here, guys. That, this is who we're talking about. JYJ. He good. It is a bit of the time of the Terran right now. But he's taking advantage. Setting up for a third base here. Three basing Terrans are scary. Protoss, though, out expanding a Terran player, out macroing a Terran player, trading out tanks, which is exactly what that first attack did. Traded out some tanks for Dragoons. Protoss can be in a fine place. Reaver shows up. Has not taken a shot. There we go. Gets a shot off. <laughs> I'm so worried about it. Reavers are glitchy. The power of the Reaver. Oh, these obs almost dying, but uh, all of one HP on that guy. 
Taking those missile turret hits. Feeling fine anyway. Vultures say, you're going to get a fourth base up here? No, cool. Probably over here. I don't know. This close to a base for a Terran is probably not where you want to go. That's a scan that says this base. There's a scan that says, is there any sign of carrier transition? Nope, but a Citadel is on the way. That's good information to get. And we're just going to unload some vultures. We're just kidding. We're just going to lose everything. Ow. Okay. That. Hmm. He scanned. Didn't, did not read that information properly, I guess, is how I would say that. Upgrades coming in from both players. Both players teching further up in their tech trees. And by that, I mean we're pretty much done if we're the Terran, right? Science facilities is your last step. Probably not going to go for nukes. More gateways on the way from the Protoss here, trying to set a bit of a contain. So third base is a little bit hard to take. You can't just float the command center over if you're the Terran, but maybe he's expanding over here, which he is actually. Oop, that was an ob's dead sound. Don't know what killed it. Maybe Goliaths. There are Goliaths in the mix here, and they do have Charon boosters. Temple Archives on the way. Storm and Reavers, both acceptable answers to all of the tanks and vultures that are going to be produced here by the Terran player. Terran doesn't really have much choice in the matter. It's going to be tanks and vultures, and the number of Goliaths is dependent on how many carriers Protoss player makes, and if it's no carriers, you still want some for Arbiters and picking off Observers and stuff. And then Science Vessels, right? For EMPs and Defensive Matrix, and that's it. You don't really have much choices. You're not going to make Ghosts in this matchup unless you're very cool. Oh, little zealot unload here on this third base attempt by JYJ. Tank down, tank down. Beautiful. These tanks, these zealots don't even have the speed upgrade. Look at him getting work done here. Do that scarab. Ooh, that was a good reaver hit. Again, reavers are balanced by the fact that they're very hit or miss. If they hit every time, they'd be overpowered. If they always miss, they'd be garbage. So the fact that they're hit or miss makes them... Okay. Oh, did he try to unload? He did. He tried to unload that Reaver, got it sniped by vultures. That's embarrassing, but Dragoons on the left side. Another attack coming in here. Zealots have their speed upgrade now. It wasn't that long to wait. Another tank dies. And again, just kill tanks. Are you going to lose units in the process? Yes, because tanks are good. But keeping that tank count from getting up to 30 is a must. An absolute must if you're going to beat a Terran player who's an ASL champion. Okay? Okay. Also, did we mention Flash is back? Flash has been laddering recently. So last week, I actually cast a Flash versus Jadong game from a week ago, which is incredibly the most recent Flash versus Jadong game I've ever cast, I think, in the history of my channel. So go check that out if you want to see how Flash is doing and maybe some interesting wrinkles in the new meta of TVZ. Huh? That's not a good tease. I don't know what is. But seriously, go check it out. Look, if... Yeah, YouTube's not going to recommend you every one of my videos, I don't think. They're pretty bad about doing that for channels that post six or seven times a week. I get it. They don't want to overwhelm people with content, and I don't want to do that either. But also, I have a lot of StarCraft to cast, so whatever. I love it. Great storm, by the way. This third base of JYJ is actually possibly dead. Full SCV. Nope, just kidding. They decided to fight. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't fight. All right, fine. Sea Tanks got in here to repel the Protoss invaders. Yeah, Vulture is doing a great job. This High Templar, not enough energy for anything. Okay, well, good hold there by JYJ. Really not that bad at all. I'm just going to see tons of Zealots produced here because the Zealots can win PVT by themselves unless there are Vultures out.
And that's why there are tanks. And that's why there are vultures. And that's why everybody works together in harmony until the Fire Nation attacked. EMP getting researched by the Terran. Fourth base running happily from snow. So far, everything looks very fine and chill for both players. Snow's up about 30 supply, but, you know, siege tanks can straight up be the equalizer here, right? Don't just sit at home with your vultures. I know I say this every PVT like 18 times. But seriously, if you're just sitting on three bases with your vultures, then don't, don't do that. Send them out. Throw spider mines down in random places on the map. Block expansions with your spider mines. Force the Protoss to worry about mines whenever they go anywhere on the map. It, they will hate it. And anything you can do to make your opponent hate playing StarCraft is a good thing for you to do. Which is why cannon rushes are so popular. <laughs> Trying to get a fifth base up here. Vultures are interested in harassing this. They're not going to kill it, but look at them fighting this Dragoon. Like absolute bosses. Got him. All the Vultures died, but they killed that last Dragoon, and that's all that matters. All right, so three bases exist for JYJ. That third gas, big deal. Ooh, fourth base exists, two minerals. See, now Snow has to kill Spider Mines. He hates this stuff. Oh, hang on. Maybe trying to naked expand to a fourth base, not a good idea. The army was in spitting distance, though. Ooh, a trap! Nice 360 surround trap on those Dragoons. Beautifully done, but no, dropping in. Reaver trying to get some shots off. Zealot in the mix here, too. Nice Reaver shot. The micro here is insane. Are we taking Reaver hits? No, the Reaver's a Oh, did take a tank shot there. Uh, Zealots coming in. Storm getting tossed down as well, bringing the entire Splash Damage Brigade to this party. Another beautiful storm, but enough Terran subsists. Dude, a lot of Terran died, but it's like two tanks and two vultures left, and that's all. That's all you need. Ooh. Snow really tried to kill this base. I appreciate it. I think I've got our spinning Bangalas down here. Barely in vision of this ob. So you only can see half of it as it spins around. A tragic life at least. Snow says, hold on. I almost killed this fourth base once. D-Matrix up. Zealot trying to kill that tank anyways. Uh, just dropping High Templar and storming where the High Templar are because they're in the middle of a tank line. Yo. Those are suicide High Templar if ever I've seen them before. Ooh, expanding right side here is Snow too. I didn't think he was going to do that one. Really close to the Terran, but maybe it's a bit of a ninja in his state of things, right? The way he sees it. One fifty-three to one forty supply. I don't know. Snow's in a worse place supply-wise than he was, you know, five minutes ago. Which is not the end of the world because he's got another base up here. I mean, it's just one, two, three, four, five. Six total bases rolling for our dude and getting a seventh base in the top left corner as well because why not? Why shouldn't you have a seventh base? Asks Bilbo Baggins. Uh, trying to do a hard wall here against this Vulture Harass in the top left corner. Oh, but dropping some tanks in JYJ. Bringing the tanks to the harassment party. Oh, that's good. And then dropping Zealots on top of the tanks. The counter drops. The counter drops are good and both tanks die. Oh, that was cool. That was so cool. Trying to vulture dro the drops in this game are sick, killer, awesome. They are so cool. Woof, all right. So top left base doesn't happen because there were tanks inside that base just a minute ago. Snow is maxed out. Time to do some trading. Even if you're only trading for Goliath at this stage of the game, you're probably getting some good value because you have the better income. And you have the better income because you need to be getting the better value because mech is cost efficient. 
The economics involved here are unimpeachable. Oh, good tank positioning. These Vulture tried to find a spot where they could kill all these probes, but no, say the cannons. Definitely not. Not allowed. This is great from JYJ. Aggressive plays. Vultures all over the place. When you have enough of them and their upgrades are high, it can stand up pretty well. Plus three, plus one upgrades on those dudes. Uh, two attack, no armor, no shields on the Protoss. Usually the pattern they will follow in a PVT. Pretty traditional. Once they get plus three ground, they'll consider getting shields and, uh, and armor, but not until then. Mm, gateways. Okay, so gateways at the summer home for the Protoss. No sign of a carrier transition here, which another scan. More of a battle scan here. Trying to see where this Dragoon army is. Siege up. Dragoons get out. And by that, I mean do, do not get out and instead take some serious tank shots for absolutely no reason. Maybe it's because the third base is under siege by Zealots and more Dragoons. These missile turrets die and make future drops way more effective. Maybe it's not the splashiest thing to do, but I like it. Unseed siege tanks fighting against Zealots. They do better for themselves there, but this third command center is taking some serious damage. It should be okay. A couple SCVs are repairing it, and the tanks are in position to shut it down, too. In the meantime, JYJ goes for an attack up this right side, immediately eats a couple storms, and some more storms come in. The D-Matrix is trying to help absorb some of that damage. My gosh, the storms. It takes two. It takes two, baby. It takes two. That's right. Two storms to kill a tank. And, ah, yeah. See, JYJ did not know this base existed because he was trying to expand up here. Very interesting that Snow hasn't bothered taking the gases. Uh, a bunch of his new expansions. I guess more Zealot heavy stuff. By golly, the storm, the Zealot follow up. Another. S How is he getting more storms off? These are some really well placed storms that usually Protoss players can't get close enough to this mech group to get them off. But uh, Snow is certainly doing it. DT on the way here, too, from Snow. Maybe some shenanigans in the future. Yeah, and just trading out tanks. How many tanks does JYJ have right now? Not a million, not 30, not even close to 30. Oh, I heard DT swipe. He might have died because there was also a scan. <laughs> that happened. So tank count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. More are being produced. I guess there's eight there. There's eight siege tanks. But as we can see, sometimes only eight siege tanks is enough to wipe out an entire base. It's the superpower that Terran has when they go back. I mean, this is not two siege tanks killing a base, but it is. I guess it's three. That one on the low ground is firing on it, too. Not ideal if you're Snow, but he's got other bases to fall back to. He's got that whole top left side. He continues to harass the crap out of this third. He says, if you're going to kill one of my bases, I'm going to kill one of yours. We're going to base trade this, sucker. Yeah, look at these vultures buying time, holding their own until the tanks can show up, until the adults arrive, and then the dragoons have to skedaddle out. Oh, nice. So JYJ takes this right side base that Snow had for a hot minute. He's able to get a bunch of minerals off of these patches. Got to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, if they start with 1,500. That's about 500 minerals taken from each of those, and that adds up. 154 to 135 supply. Worker count is about even, which is not great for the Protoss player, but he really wants to wipe out this third base, man. He does get a good scan, catching the attack coming in. Bring some tanks up, but unloading some zealots into the party a little bit earlier. That shuttle gets in. And this, I don't know. Is there enough Terran here? He's got to bring more tanks home again to try to save this base. It's an EMPing science vessel, maybe detection. I don't know. Whatever the science vessel's up to, he's here. And again, this base survives. JYJ's ability to respond to the death of this base, or the near death of this base over and over again, has been almost inspiring. I don't even play Terran, and that is just... 
I would have thought, oh, it's going to take too long to get units back here. I guess it's going to die, but no. Never give up. Never surrender. Also, maybe sometimes get storm dropped. Oh, SCVs didn't stop running. Okay, that was not great. 60 to 51 workers there. Remember when it was even base count? Snow has a nice little one worker, or uh, about a nine worker lead right now. And bringing up another attack here. More zealous, more dragoons cruising in. They've got that three attack. It's three, two upgrades for the Terran mech here. High ground in it. Zealots marching in. Is there enough? Again, JYJ has not lost a base yet. Due to his superpower ability to defend against everything Snow has been throwing at him the entire game. Snow finally is taking the gas at these bases in the top left corner. Not something he did immediately. Scan, scan. Just trying to see is there more assault coming in to try to wipe out one of my bases. Yes. Spider mine the top of that ramp. Turrets, vultures, siege tanks. Hard for a Protoss to break. And this is one of the reasons we see carrier transitions from Protoss. is because a good Terran with good positioning, good scanning, and good map awareness as a result is very hard to break. JYJ has taken some serious hits from Snow today, but he hasn't crumbled. He hasn't caved. He's been doing fine. And for that reason, even though he's down 30 supply, I feel like he's in a okay spot. More scans, just revealing what's going on in the middle of the map. Gotta keep that map updated in real time. Snow says, how many times do I have to kill you, boy? Actually, my brain's having a hard time remembering what that quote is from. Feels like a Peter Pan thing. It's a little too, like, death involved to be Peter Pan. Great storm. Oh, the SCVs retreating through a... St okay. That hurts. 60 to 39 workers now. 39. 20 worker lead for the Protoss. JYJ says, All right, this, is, this defense thing is not working out for me, is it? Time to move out. Let's go. I mean, I did kill one base. I could probably kill more. And it's a good point, JYJ. Good flank attack, though. Coming in. And yeah, great storm. The southern half of this column does get wiped out. The northern half. Can it hold here? A lot of Protoss coming in from all directions. Exactly what siege tanks do not want to see. And yes, it does get wiped out. Too much Protoss. And I think that's your GG. 161 to 105 supply. Snow, an absolute master of PVT in this game. Ex out expanding the Terran, trading for tanks, harassing, killing SCVs, slowing down the Terran income even more than maybe he needed to, but wipes out a ton of that SCV count, and this base is dead. Yeah. Unless this attack can get a ton done for JYJ. It is not looking good. The income is this for JYJ right now. It is not a lot. Snow might end up losing a base he doesn't really care about at the moment because he knows how far behind JYJ is. Siege tanks. Three attack. Going to take down Protoss buildings with some ease. And then, okay. Then going to try to take down this 12 o'clock too. So two bases for the price of one. It's still not going to stop Snow's income entirely, but it would hurt. It would hurt him a lot. So that's why Snow is sending his units over here, not just A-moving them carelessly. There you go, weakening up those. Oh, double, gets a double storm off on these tanks, except for that guy who somehow dodged all the storms. Don't know how. High ground Dragoons, maybe. Uh, and the storms today have been so good. Holy crap. Excellent, excellent plays. Yep, all right, all right. And that's your GG. Woo! JYJ taps out and Snow is your winner. Yeah, uh, JYJ's income was not anything to write home about. Hit that like button if you enjoyed that game. Woo! Snow really kept JYJ on his back feet there. The attacks did not go well every time. But, you know, he was able to whittle that tank count down. Maybe kill a couple SCVs while he was there. 
And finally able to wipe out a couple bases. Well, this one actually never died, but get bases, defend his own bases on the counterattack very, very well. Did not lose. Well, lost this Nexus today, but I feel like that was a foregone conclusion from Snow. I think Snow was like, I'm going to take this. If JYJ finds it, he's going to kill it, but I'm going to take as many resources from it as I can because that's technically his and not something a Protoss generally does on this map is expand to there, you know? I think you do know. So, woo, thumbs up. Fantastic display of PBT from Snowman, Storm, Reavers, tons of Dragoons and Zealots. The shuttles are so important. No Arbiters today. And I think part of that is that Arbiters can get EMP'd whereas shuttles can't. You just can't transport a giant block of units with one shuttle like an Arbiter can, but Arbiters are also more expensive. So shuttles, the way to go, man. Apparently the way to go. Good amount of drops in this game too. Very good. JYJ using the drops to a good extent too. 247,000 points here from Snow 219 from JYJ. Out producing the Protoss. Interesting, but out killing the Terran. That is an interesting stat to see for sure. Both players raised about 15 buildings and then outspending. Yeah, the number of bases tell this story too. Outspending the Terran by about 14,000 resources today in 29 minutes will do. That'll do pig. Yo. All right. So that was amazing. That was a lot of fun. And that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.